Okay, guys, second attempt at doing this video. Um, the CW for remote operation to PJ4G with side tone uh, has been solved, and it's been solved with two pieces of software. One is called Com0Com. It's a free piece of software, and the other one is called Morris Keir. What Com0Com does is it allows me to create two virtual serial ports that you'll see. I've got Com21 and Com22. And I'm able to, with this wiring diagram, connect DTR across to CTS and CTS across to DTR. So I can now use those as keying lines. When you come down into Morse Keyer, you'll see that under Serial I.O., I've selected COM port 22. So it's going to be watching COM port 22 for clear to send to toggle in order to send CW. When I come up to N1MM and I go into Config, I'll configure ports. And if you come over here, you'll see that I've got COM21 set for CW. I come back over here, and you'll see that right here, I'm using uh, the DTR line to send the CW. Now what'll happen is, is that when somebody uses the, um, uses the uh, station, they're gonna have two keyers in N1MM. The one is going to be the win key keyer, which is at the uh, 6500 on Bonaire. The other keyer is this local keyer, which I'm going to demo now. And basically what it does is it exactly mimics whatever is being sent to uh, the remote radio. It does it locally. So you can see that Fred called me. So there you go. So uh, keying uh, with side tone locally on, uh, on a computer for PJ4G has been solved with two pieces of free software.